So what does it mean to you more than anything being next to Mark Hamill? It's pretty amazing, isn't it? They kept, they, you know, folks are apologizing, saying, oh, do you mind waiting? I'm like, no, I'll stand next to this guy all day. I mean, what, why wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, you know, I was born in 74, you know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, it's been part of my whole life. Uh, completely. Um, what can you, what, what can you teach, I'm, if I'm not wrong, you filmed or are you, where are you in the, in, with, what's going on with the show? Uh, we're still shooting season two. Right, so when did you start and when do you wrap? Uh, we, we, we started in the fall and we end in the summer. How's that? That's a long shoot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask him specific questions. I loved the first season. What did you learn from the audience reaction to the show that you wanted to incorporate in season two? Um, you know, it's, that's always tricky because, you know, you get such a variation. Some people love it, some people hate it. Oh, it's fantastic. You know, some people in the middle. I mean, my personal opinion with that stuff in the end is you just have to be true to the character and, and, and the story you choose to tell. I, I think if you start worrying about the audience, you know, you want them to love it, obviously, but I think if you start worrying about that, it, it can be a trap, you know. So I think we just had to keep trying to be true to Frank's character, you know, and, and hopefully make him someone people want to hang out with. Uh, did you know what you wanted to do in season two when you were making season one? Like, did you pitch like to the to Marvel and Netflix like I have an idea for three or five years um, very loosely I mean uh, but but you know what happens when you then start writing a season you find things and writers come up with things and things appear in episodes you know and it sort of takes on a life of itself so you can't be too rigid with that stuff but yeah I mean certainly by the end of season one you know I always knew what the journey of season one was which meant I kind of knew what season two would be sure uh, are you a fan of the of the set photos getting out, or do you like just curse the ground every day? You know, it's it's a tricky thing that because in the end you have to be sort of sanguine about it. It's gonna happen. So I mean, do I wish they didn't get out? Yes, but then I also think you know, lots of people it generates excitement for the show, and people you know, it doesn't seem to hurt people's enjoyment of the show. I mean, I think that's that's what would worry me is if what got out you know, spoiled the show for people. Completely. Do you, do you think about that though, that like maybe shooting something indoors because it's a big spoiler, does that ever factor in into the writing process about spoilers? Um, not really. I mean, I think, you again, you just sort of find the best way to tell the story, you know, and if, if at the end of the day what you write is a great car chase and a car chase you want to, you know, you can't do that indoors. And I think, I think um, you know, you can't limit yourself in the writing process worrying about, you know, what will happen when people, you know, when, once you're out there. Sure. I'm, I'm always wondering about this. Uh, the Marvel shows are 13 episodes. Do you ever say, man, I wish we could just do 10? Or, do, like, you know what I mean? Because it's that 13 episode yeah, it's, thing. It's an interesting thing, that, because I sort of feel like, and look, other people will judge my show or not. And um, People always said to me, do, do you wish you'd had 10? I say, yeah, well, then there'd have been less story. You know, I, I always wanted it to be a, a, a slow burn show. So, I know, you know, I always felt like we had the right amount for 13, and I think I think you've got to, you know you've got to have enough story for that. But I like kind of how slow burn and character driven the shows are. You know? Well, listen, so, I, I my being I'm just going to throw this in there as my own personal thing. But Daredevil and Punisher were my two favorites. I mean, I, I love what you guys have done, uh, and I, I'm very curious about the raising of the bar in the second season, and you know, like where you go because. The first season is basically him trying to get revenge on what happened. So is this now more of like an exploratory thing about him helping other people? And how much is it about yeah. helping himself? I mean, you know, if I could, you know, season one for me was always about a man coming to terms with the grief of his family. You know, obviously dealing with the people who were responsible for that, and and his own part in what you know the fact that he had guilt and had played his own part in it. And I feel like you know by the end we'd sort of exercise that for Frank. So. I, for season two, for me, in a way, was that thing having been gone, it's now about him adopting the mantle of the Punisher. It's about saying, okay, you know, this is who I'm going to be. Um, and so, obviously, that sort of, you know, led us to a new story. And, you know, and I always used to say in the writer's room, you know, the minute this guy retires and opens a bar, we have no show. So we've got to keep finding people for him to be annoyed at. Sure. The you know? season one started, I believe, with a great action set piece. There's been actually some great action in season one. How do you raise the bar in season two? Um, 
by challenging, you know, the stunt team and the writers and everyone else to like raise the bar and say, right, guys, how are we going to top that this year? You know, and we have an amazing, I have an amazing team of writers, and we have a really great um, stunt team. And it's just saying, right, how do we beat it? You know, and, and people pitch in and come up with things, and then. Um, you know, and then we have to try and deliver it production-wise. Uh, sure. You know, and I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, I, I feel like we have raised that bar. Uh, you know, I'm very excited for everyone to see it. And I think this is the perfect time to tell me when the show is going to premiere on Netflix. Um, you know what? When you find out, you can tell me. <laughs> Wait. So you wrap this summer? Uh, yeah, we're we're yeah we're wrap. Um, you know, in the summer, and then uh, we have post production, and we'll sure. see. I'm going to guess February or March. Okay. I'm throwing it out there. Right. I have no idea what Let's I'm see, saying. We'll have to get back together and see if right. you're right. Yeah. Hey, uh, I, um, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I, I will stop there and say, um, when I get to see season two, I would love to do a follow-up. Yeah, yeah.